So I got in trouble last weekend. What's up, people? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. So over the weekend, I got in trouble with a venue and I learned a big lesson and I figured I got a YouTube channel with DJ tips on it. So if I learn a lesson, I better teach that lesson to you guys. <laughs> So here's a story. I had a wedding. My couple, like most of my couples, like 99% of my couples, I don't know about you guys, I don't know if I have different couples or whatever, but most of my couples want their weddings to be as normal as possible. And I mean, not for nothing, if they're still having a wedding, you know, when they could postpone it, I guess, to next year when everyone's vaccinated and everything's nice and safe, you know, they, they're, they probably don't give a fuck because, you know, they're having their wedding now, you know? Like, so most of my couples really don't care and they want it to be as normal as possible. And that's the agreement I have with my couples when I'm meeting with them, when I'm talking with them, when I'm going over everything, you know what I mean? So with that being said, the couple are the most important people to me. They're the ones paying me, the ones that hired me, the ones that wanted me for their wedding and if they ask me to do something I'm doing it so you know I take that sort of thing seriously so fast forward to their wedding I go to DJ their wedding and their venue whoo is very very strict on the COVID loss so I get there I set up we're getting ready for intros I'm getting ready to you know go over the timeline you know with the mater d and all that stuff and he's like listen man you know there's not gonna be any dancing on the dance floor other than the first dance and the formalities afterwards we're gonna bring the gift table and the cake table out on the dance floor almost as like a, a you know deterrent so people won't go out there and dance they're allowed to dance on the carpet sort of not really but we're not gonna say anything as long as they have their masks on when they leave their seat the only time the only time they're allowed to not have their mask on is while they're seated at their tables and they can't eat or drink anywhere else and all that sort of thing. And listen, Nick, we really want you to make this announcement as soon as you do your intros, like like make it clear, blah, 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 blah. So in the back of my head, I'm like, fuck, you're serious. <laughs> But it's fine, whatever, I don't wanna do it, but I make the announcement. I'm like, all right, well, I'll just make the announcement up front, you know, thinking that, all right, well, I'll make this announcement, you know, I knocked it out, I did my due diligence, and then we're gonna keep it moving, and whatever happens, happens, right? So I started my intros, it was kind of weird. I was like, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? So real quick, before we even start, just wanna let you know, if you're seated, you can have your mask off. Once you stand up, you gotta have your mask on. No dancing on the dance floor, dancing on the carpet only, but you gotta have your mask on, and we wanna keep everything everything nice and safe. We have sanitizing stations all over. If you want to, you know, use them and kill some germs, feel free to do so. Yada, yada, yada. Anyway, let's hear for the couple. And then like I announced them in, right? It's literally what I did. It's the best I could do, but it sucks because I feel like, you know, I'm the principal. I'm the like, a, I'm the dad of the room, you know, telling everybody what to do, what the rules are. For, I can't stand it. Anyway, whatever. I did what I had to do. We announced them in. Intros went great, first dance, parent dances, everything's groovy, right? Life is grand. But it started getting tricky because, you know, we started with dinner, right? And in Jersey, we do like a lot of early dance sets. I really didn't do it at this one because I felt like they were kind of freaked out about dancing, like the venue itself, so I kind of played it slow. But, you know, I dived into a lot of my dinner playlists, you know, my dinner crates and all that stuff. I have like sing-along crates and whatnot, and I was playing, you know, a lot of good feeling, good vibes, and people were vibing and, People started dancing here and there and you know, getting up and talking and not wearing masks. And as this was happening, the venue started freaking out and they started coming up to me and, hey, make another announcement. Hey, make another announcement. Hey, Nick, could you just remind them one more time, one more time, one more time. I swear at this point, I must have made eight announcements. Like it, 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 was, it was piling up and I was starting to get anxiety because I promised my couple that I wouldn't be like this, but I'm being like this, you know what I mean? I'm like, what do I do? Like I'm, I'm stuck in a rock and a hard place now. I got the venue pressure me, but I got the couple over there that like they spent all this money on the wedding. They didn't get a discount for this wedding. <laughs> you know what I mean? This wedding's been postponed a couple times. They're still paying full price. And now they can't have a good time. They got to hear me on the mic. Oh, don't forget your mask. Like, you know what I mean? Like, what do I do? So eventually I got to a fork in the road. I had to pick which way to go. I felt like, you know, cause they came up to me. I was dancing them, right? I got them going. They're all dancing on the carpet where they're supposed to be. Nobody's really on the dance floor or whatever, but they're not really wearing masks, you know, no, whatever. Nobody wears masks at weddings. If you haven't done a wedding yet, trust me, no one will wear a mask at a wedding. If a person is going to an event where there's lots of people, chances are they're not too worried about the whole mask and virus Thing, you know what I mean? So people just don't wear masks. What it just doesn't happen. It is what it is. But anyway, right? So they're dancing, you know, and and, and it's getting, you know, to be a good party. <laughs> you know, it's starting to be fun. And the mayor D comes up to me, he's like, yeah, chill, chill, chill. You, you, we got, we gotta stop this. We gotta stop this. Like, stop the music. Tell them, tell them to stop. Tell them to stop. And I'm like, listen, why don't you get your staff? 
over there and like just tell them, you know, because if I, you know, if I like, I don't want to, you know, make another announcement. It's going to kind of kill the buzz. Can you just help me out? Da, da, da. He got the staff over there. He tried a little bit. Then he came up to me. He's like, you know what? Let's do cake early. Let's just do cake early. Let's stop this right now. I'm like, Ugh. so fine. I said, okay. I stopped the whole dancing, right? I might, I might have danced them for maybe 15, 20 minutes. I stopped everything and I said, all right, it's time to cut the cake. So then we cut the cake. After I cut the cake, I played a slow song, right? It was a special request slow song from the couple. And I played it and, you know, asked everybody to come out while the amazing staff here at so and so venue is cutting the cake. You know, we're going to play the slow song, bring somebody out, yada, 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 right? I didn't get a lot of people out, honestly, because I felt like I already did kill the buzz. But regardless, we had like, I don't know. 10 couples dancing, maybe 12 couples dancing. And four of those couples were on the dance floor, not in the middle, but like right on the edge. So they were on the wood part of the dance floor, which is a big, big no-no, right? So then someone else from the venue comes up to me and they're like, listen, stop the music right now and tell everybody who's on the dance floor and who doesn't have a mask that they need to leave the dance floor and they need to put on a mask right this second. Then you can put the music back on. And it was at that point where I'm like, nah, now nah, I'm done. <laughs> Not doing it. Sorry. And I, I was really nice though. I wasn't a dick. I was just like, listen, like, I'm so sorry, but I already made 10 announcements. I promised the couple that I would make this as normal as possible. They spent a lot of money for this day and I'm already going overboard with the announcements. Is there any way you can like get your staff to just go tell them I'll come with you. I'll help. I'm, I'm happy to tell them in person, but I just don't want to make the announcement on the mic. I don't want to stop the music. Like that's going to kill the whole party. Like I'm going to have a really hard time getting everybody to dance if I do this. Right. And the look on that girl's face. Woo, was she not happy with me? She just, she reminded me because we had to sign a paper before. She said, did you not sign that paper? Hmm? Did you not sign that paper? I'm like, I signed it, but like, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm stuck in a tough place. Like, I'm so sorry. Like, my God, like I promised my couple, da, 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 you know what I mean? And she just walked away and she was pissed and she was not happy with me. She ended up, you know, calling our office and complaining about me and all this. And, you know, I got in trouble and I was faced you know, with a little realization, with a little like, you know, a learning point, a little something that I had to, you know, kind of pivot and adjust with. And I want to explain that to you guys today. As all of us are going back to work, depending on what state you're in, obviously, there's states that are all the way opened up now, but if you're in a stricter state, as you're going back to work, you're gonna find that some venues are very, very strict. They play everything by the book. They do the rules exactly how they're meant to be done. Like there's no, there's no leeway whatsoever. They are following the rules by the book. And then you're gonna find that other venues don't follow any rules and they kind of just let you have a great party and they turn their head and that's it, you know? And whatever you're at on the spectrum, as far as like your personal opinion, it doesn't matter, okay? You gotta really go by the venue's rules because that's how they're running the venue, it's their house and that sort of thing. So my biggest takeaway from all this is that I need to really know how each venue is handling this entire COVID situation. Therefore, when I'm meeting with a couple, when I'm like, you know, doing my final meetings and doing the final planning and everything with my couple, I can tell them that, hey, listen, you know, your venue is strict as shit and they're going to make me make all these announcements. Like I'm not, I don't have a choice. I have to, they make me sign this stuff. They make me do this. Da, da, da. I have, I'm going to have to tell that to my couple. I can't just say like, Hey, listen, I'll make it as normal as possible for you. Whatever. I'm going to have to tell them that I basically have to play by the venue's rules and sort of save my own ass in the process, you know, because like, I don't want to make false promises to them. My biggest problem, I would have been happy to do whatever the venue said at that wedding, right? Would have been happy to do it. The only thing that was holding me back was I promised the couple and normal wedding. Like I told them that I wouldn't do this and I was doing it. So I was stuck in a, in a tough spot. You know what I mean? But now from now on, I have weddings at that venue coming up and at venues that they also own, which I know are going to be strict. I'm going to let my couples know, listen, this is how your venue is, okay? If you have a problem with it, you know, then talk to them ahead of time and see if you can like have them be a little more loose or whatever, or maybe sign extra paperwork so they're less liable. I don't know how that shit works. I haven't done it yet, but at least let the couples know that you're gonna have to do whatever that venue says. Like if they tell you to make an announcement, you're gonna have to make that announcement. So that way they don't blame you. You know what I mean? Like I put myself in a tough spot because I made a promise I couldn't keep, or at least I couldn't keep without pissing someone off. So my advice to you DJs is do some research. If you're just getting back to work and you're not sure yet, like how venues are handling it, ask around, maybe call the venue direct and be like, listen, 
be straight up with me. I'm a DJ. I'm going to be working there in two weeks. You know, what are your protocols? Like, how are you taking this? Like, are you going to be turning your head and it's going to be a cool party and you're chilling? Or is the dance floor closed? You know, are you going to be very strict with masks? Like, how are you handling this as you're opening back up? That way they can tell you and then you can tell the couple. And then if the couple has a problem with it, then they can go to their venue and talk to them and work it out with them. But you're out of the picture. Like, you're not the one messing up the party. Like, no DJ on the face of the earth wants to be a party pooper. That is the opposite of what we do. We are the opposite of party poopers. Like if you looked at opposite things, if there was like an opposite book, I don't know, like if you saw a party pooper in there, underneath it would be DJ. Like we are literally the opposite of a party pooper. And asking me to be a party pooper goes against my DNA, man. <laughs> but I'll do it as long as whoever's paying me knows I'm doing it, knows I have to do it, and is not holding me accountable for it. But talk to me, people. Have you ran into similar situations? Is it strict where you're at? Is it loosey-goosey where you're at? How's it going? Let me know in the comments and whatnot. I hope you guys learned something because I definitely learned something this past weekend. That's why I wanted to share it with you guys. I appreciate all of you for watching and whatnot. Hit the like button if you did learn something. Subscribe for more videos. I'm posting them all the damn time. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.